Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to today's video, or should I say, Magandang Umaga for my Filipino friends. It's good to see you again, and thank you very much for tuning in to today's video. And today's a scary video. It kind of, it's, it, I don't know if it's scary, maybe. I, I'm just building up, I'm just building up in my head. It's fine, it's fine. Today, we're gonna be trying Balut. And if you don't know what Balut is, it is a very, very, very kind of infamous street food from the Philippines and South China and Vietnam and Cambodia. It might not just be in the south of China, maybe the north, the west and east as well. Balut is essentially a fertilized embryo duck egg. Duck egg, for, I got that from Wikipedia. Is it fertilized embryo? Fertilized duck egg embryo. That's it, it's a fertilized duck egg embryo. Typically taken about anywhere between nine and 14 days into the fertilization period, incubation period. This may not all be that accurate, but. I did do some research. I spoke to my Filipino friend, Jojo, who is a chef, lovely guy. He was the one that sourced me the balut and he reassured me that it does taste very nice. It has somewhat of a reputation around the world. Look, I've never had it before and I think it's unfair to label something as perhaps not being good or being horrible based around what other people say or the pictures that you may see on the internet. You have to try stuff before you say whether or not you like it. You don't like the taste of it and you say that the taste was bad, Fair enough. But if you tell me that balut is horrible because you don't like the look of it, well, you gotta try it first. Always try stuff before you pass your judgment, unless it's heroin and other drugs. The balut is currently steaming. Let me get it, let me get it. Ooh, I need to explain what these are as well. There it is. So I, uh, I almost microwaved it. <laughs> I think if I'd have microwaved it, I may have further developed the duck inside of this egg uh, shell um, holding house. So I've got the vinegi, which I've been told is a good accompaniment for the balut. Uh, inside that I put some chili flakes as well. Give it a little bit of a kick. Um, I don't know why I just blew kisses at it. Good old fashioned sea salt. Apparently that is necessary with the balut. Um, yeah, Whew, here we go. Well, um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Kind of got butterflies in my stomach. It's not really that hot either. I didn't need the glove. Can you tell that I'm nervous? I really do want to try this though. I'm a big believer in trying things from different cultures and different foods. If we all just branched out a little bit, tried things from different countries, there'd probably be a lot more empathy in the world and a lot less, racism and people being mean to each other. Like, why would you be mean to someone? It doesn't make any sense. And especially, you know, if you've tried their food and it's delicious, you're just gonna wanna know, how did you do that? That's amazing. Don't know what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Um, we crack the top. Hmm. Oh, the bottom, no, 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 the bottom. Cause you're looking to find a more hollow point. I spoke to a nice elderly lady. Hmm. We need to get something to put the shell. One second. So many ramekins. So many, look at that. Um, yeah, so I spoke to an elderly lady in the shop, uh, in Jojo's shop, in fact, and she said she likes balut, except she chooses not to look at it when she eats it. Oh, okay. Oh, I just lost some of the juice. Okay, that's not good, no, that's not good. We don't wanna lose the juice, we don't wanna lose the juice. I can see veins. So, uh, there's a few veins at the top. I think that means it's it's matured somewhat. It's got some degree of vascularity. Do I have vinegar already? Maybe. Ah, oh, I may just end up having a lot of vinegar. Here it goes. <coughs> a lot of vinegar in there. We need to break the seal. That's better. Okay, okay, okay. So the skin. sure what that is, we'll put that in there. Now there's a lot more liquid available. Mm. It's good, it's like chicken, but it's duck. It's chickeny. Oh God. Here we go, we'll break this down a little bit. Continue this balut journey. 
I'm being as open-minded with this as possible. Please don't forget I come from the United Kingdom where like the most exciting thing we have here is fish and chips. So close up of this, there's not like a huge amount of scary looking things happening. I I'm not too afraid of it to be honest. It kind of looks like a, a boiled egg with perhaps, you know, a bit of vascularity, a bit of vinegar, a bit of the chili, first bite of the, the balloon. Okay. It tastes meaty, my feet are going crazy. I don't want to look. Okay. Okay. It's a bit bitty. Like there's a there's a few things. I can see some bones. I can see some bones. I can see now why the the lovely little lady in the in Jojo's shop was like, don't look at it. It is what it is. If I'm gonna eat it, I should look at it. I should at least give it the respect it deserves and look at it. Okay. It's an interesting color. I think there's a feather coming out of it. I'm not gonna go any further yet. We'll, we'll eat where we've got to so far. Okay. A wee bit of salt. Ooh, bit of vinegar. This is probably gonna be the most uh, bony part, I imagine. I can see a bone now. But we're gonna give this a go. Come on, Johnny. You're here to try things. This is interesting. Okay. It kinda of tastes like duck. It is a duck. I was gonna say like liver. It's kind of mushy. I'm really struggling to not pull a face. I'm so sorry. So my, my like, my mouth is going weird. It doesn't make sense. Whoa. It's okay. It's got a tail. Is that a tail? We'll just dip that in the vinegar, and we'll just dip that in the salt. Yeah, tastes good. I think when you get past the way it looks and you don't let that interfere with how your taste buds feel, how your mouth feels, like you gotta relax your mouth. I'm finding myself very tense because I'm looking at it too much. I know this is a big piece, but I'm not gonna look at it. <laughs> Dippy dip in the salt, so we've got the vinegar, we've got, I think, a de decent amount of salt. Balut. It is okay. I think I needed more vinegar, maybe more salt. Oh, there's still some left. <laughs> I thought that was the last bit. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do this with like a glass of water as well, but I thought that wouldn't be fair. I'm trying not to look. What is it gonna cost? What did I say earlier? I should give this the respect it deserves and, and look at it. This is my last piece of balut. Oh, it's harder. I wonder if it's harder because it's further down the, the life chain. Should I lick my fingers? It's chewy. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's very unique. Got, I'm sweating. Oh. Mm. Yes, okay. That was my first ever Balut experience. It was interesting. I think that was probably a good source of protein. 
and calcium. Some people share like quite a negative sentiment towards Baloo. Like people say it's like horrible. I mean, oh, first of all, I'd be interested to see if they've actually tried it. I wouldn't say it was horrible. It's not the most appealing to look at. I think closing your eyes or not looking at it does actually quite help. It's like if you remove any preconceived opinions of Baloo and you were just served it on a plate and you didn't know anything about it and you had a knife and fork and it had like some salt and the vinegar on top with a sprinkle of chili, I'm sure you'd probably like it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've had Baloo and what you think of it. I'd be really curious. And did I do like the accompaniments correctly? The vinegar and the salt. Let me know if I did that correctly and if my Baloo technique was right. And as always, I'll see you on the next video for some Lechon Kowali. Bye bye. Paala. See you soon.